New day, new Bucky shirt. Man, yesterday just fell apart. Yesterday was supposed to be a half day because Jenny's been traveling, I've been busy. We were just gonna take yesterday afternoon off, go climbing, just enjoy each other's company, and everything started crashing at once. Jenny, you seem a little stressed. What's- I'm not stressed. What's going on? Well, like- The video's it's... already uploaded. Like, we've already made it and edited it. We weren't gonna do anything else today. And a board didn't make it, apparently. What? Or it didn't get- one of my boards didn't get delivered. Check it out. It's just turned into one of those days. <laughs> yeah, none of this is bad. We're not no, complaining. No. It's just, Jenny just got back the other day. Like, I literally, like, look at me. I'm in, like, workout gear. Like, I was about ready to, like, up and go do something else with the rest of my day. <laughs> or relax. Take a nap. Breathe. Yeah. Catch your breath, Jenny. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, so we were done for the day. Now how many boards do we need to fulfill? Uh, four. Four? Mm -hmm. Maybe five if this other one doesn't get found. I know, maybe five, but four for now. I wanted to just take a nap. <laughs> take a nap, no, no naps allowed. <laughs> Well, I guess since Jenny's busy, I might as well stay busy also, and I can work on these cutting boards a little bit more. All right, well, we got all of these uh, cut down to size, chamfer the edges. They're just ready for uh, their first sanding at like 120 grit or something. And um, we've got to get epoxy in some of these ones that need just a little bit of help. Jenny, yes. what are you doing? Um, well, while this is engraving, I'm making a TikTok. Oh. Yes. How many more boards do you have to do? Um, I have half of this one and one more after that. Okay. I'm tired. Can we be done? No. Why is this day falling apart? All right, he's calling back. Hey, what's up, Tommy? Hey, how are you? We are ready to sign a lease on a place. So. Where what, 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 what do you got for us? We looked through all the paperwork that you sent us and we've got a couple that we really like and we just want to know when we can start looking at them. I mean, 
today. Today? This is, you know? it's got way more exciting. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we'll go from there. Very exciting, y'all. Yeah, please yeah. and thanks, Tommy. We'll send that over to you ASAP. Awesome. Yep, talk to you soon. Bye. Ta-da! It's real. I can't believe it's happening. We're going to go tour places. We're going to go tour places. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Because you get to come with us. You're going on the tour, too. But that's right. We are officially looking for a commercial space. We called our broker yesterday. It was one of the things that was on our list today. It was like our last thing to do uh, before everything hit the fan was to call our broker and let him know that we're ready to start the search. While there's never, ever, ever going to be a good time to move everything in the house to the commercial space, we have to be at least caught up so that we can take a two or three week break in production uh, to make that happen. I thought that making another batch of 40 cutting boards was gonna hold us over for a few weeks, but the realtor that called us and bombed us with orders yesterday, she doesn't use cutting boards, she uses charcuterie boards. And we're down to our last, one, two, three, seven boards. And she normally calls and asks for, you know, eight to 12 anytime she drops an order on us. So now I have to make more charcuterie boards before we start to make the transition. See, yeah, it's a good boy. What do you have to say? Right. We gotta get these cutting boards done. I can get it. I don't need to make two trips. Don't mind me. Just being stubborn. All of these boards have been sanded to 120 grit and they've been dunked in a vat of water. Vat, why did I say vat? They've been dumped in a bucket of water and left to dry. Now the grain has been popped and sanded them at 220, but before we do that, we gotta brand them. I just uh, got back from talking to a local coffee shop here in Houston about hosting a pop-up shop for our boards. Um, and it went really well. They're just a really cool place. They've got some um, some awesome clients and it's the type of clients that we want to reach as well with our boards. And so I noticed one day that on Instagram, somebody was hosting a pop-up there and I was like, why couldn't that be us? Like, we could do that. So sure enough, I just contacted him. I said, hey, we'd love to do a pop-up. I sent him a free board with their logo engraved on it and they were like sure let's do it i'm super excited i didn't know what to expect but it was pretty chill i got to drop off boards to one of my favorite realtors i'm emailing people about uh commercial spaces i'm setting up pop-up shops with local businesses this is just one of these days where you stop and think and you're like we're doing it we're doing it you know, you worry and you get self-conscious that you're not doing enough or it's not going to work. And then some days you just see your work pay off and it's really nice. 
So back home to Davis, who is furiously building more boards and uh, maybe we'll help him out. <sighs> all right, Jenny, since the last video, what all has happened? <laughs> uh, well, since the last video, we, after we finished like editing and uploading that, our phone started to blow up and just like a ton of people, I feel like were just contacting us all at the same time. We spent the rest of the day basically putting out fires. What fires did we put out, Jenny? So we got a text message from a realtor and she said somebody hadn't gotten their board, like it hadn't been delivered. The homeowner apparently. didn't know how to check their mail because they moved into a new place and he, like the, the office held the board basically. Yeah. So yeah, not a super big deal. She got her board, everything is A-OK. -okay. But we thought we had another lost board, but I'm glad we're safe now. Um, and then we had a realtor text us and she wanted four boards uh, fulfilled and delivered, which is totally fine, but she only had two boards left in her order. So basically I had to resell her on her next batch of boards. So she was a repeat customer. So literally all I did was like type her up an invoice and hit send. And I was like, hey, pay this and we'll get all the boards taken care of. And she just paid it, no questions asked. Usually I'm like calling people back and saying, hey, we need more boards. This is how I'll send it to you. This is how you'll buy them. But now I know sometimes they're just ready to buy and I don't need to get in the way. I don't need to control every single step of the transaction. Now, okay, so then what happened? We fulfilled those four boards and you went mm -hmm. this morning and dropped them off to her, right? Yep. We made a call to our commercial real estate broker because we officially decided it was time to start looking for a commercial space. And that actually, that opened up a whole like Pandora's box of stuff yesterday because he started sending us properties. We needed to send him ideas back, locations, budgets. So we're super excited for that. That's why y'all should subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified and and we're gonna take you guys on the tour. Yeah, you're coming with us. We're gonna show you all the places we're looking at and you're gonna help us pick out the ones. Yeah, we're so. gonna show you the, the yeses, the nos, the maybe so's, it's gonna be great. I guess I'm just gonna finish up these cutting boards. I gotta make more charcuterie boards, so I gotta deal with that this week. Yeah, oh, just... I also had a meeting um, with a coffee shop That's right. downtown. Uh, we wanted to host a little pop-up shop. Yeah, so. We're, we're running it up the middle. We're taking shots down the field. We're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. So yes. um, we're happy to have you along with us. And uh, yeah, we're on the quest to hit 100,000 subscribers. That's why we're uploading videos every single weekday. So share this video with a friend who you think might be interested in it. We've also got a video of us flying through hurricanes. So if that's more their speed, uh, you can send them that video. Just we need you guys to help us share our videos to new people so that we can hit 100,000 and we can hire an employee to help us out and we can be good bosses and they don't quit because we can't pay them. <laughs> And, and we can make even more videos. Like yes. Even more, like more employees means even more content. Yep, so. you want more content? Please share it with other people. That's yeah. the bottom line. So anyway, thanks for joining us on this one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the play.